The house is just a, a vehicle for the self-improvement of the families. So for some people, it's just a four-wall structure. But for other people, man, it's magical. It's a life-changing event for them. Two decades ago, when Abel Vargas and his team began doing church work in Belize, they did not imagine that Hand in Hand Ministries would have impacted the lives of so many indigent families who have sought their assistance. Over the years, the faith-based organization has done its share of community outreach. We dream big and pray a lot. <clears throat> Here in Belize right now, we have um, our Building for Change program where we build houses for, for single mothers, the elderly, people who are diseased, uh, uh, burdened, um, and people who are generally marginalized. Um, that's the Building for Change program. And we've built 465 houses so far, and we've been in every part of the country, from Corozal to Punta Gorda. Best known for its housing program for the poor, Hand in Hand Ministries has been instrumental in helping to situate families by providing them with a roof over their heads. At the start of the program, we started with small version houses. It was plywood homes. Um, was based, the aim of it was to help elderly, the parishioners, to have somewhere stable as they age. You know, we want to make, wanted to make sure that they have a place where they can call home as they as they live out the rest of their lives. So um, we started with these small eight by eight structures and then we further progressed. As you can see here, we have a small little ver um, version of our houses. We then improved to a 16 by 16 home. That house was just a um, shell. It came with just one partition down the middle. We realized that the, because of the demographics, that the people and the people we serve, things change, their needs are changing. And so we decided we're going to add on a 3 by 8 addition so that they, we could accommodate a bathroom. Beyond the building of homes, scholarships have also been awarded to secondary school students in need of financial assistance to complete their education. We also have a scholarship program where we have 21 children in high school. It had started off with a hybrid program where we had um, junior college and high school, but we have now narrowed it down to high school. And we've, been have, we've had that scholarship program now for the better part of about 14 years. Um, from that scholarship program, we have right now in Belize uh, engineers, we have several nurses, several social workers, policemen, BDF, lawyers who have graduated from our scholarship program. Apart from that, um, we have started eight cafeterias in different schools in the country. At 20 years old, there's a lot for Hand in Hand to be proud of including its outreach program. Since it started some 15, 16 years ago, we are the only organization in the country that deals primarily with the HIV-infected children. So much so that any HIV-infected children that surfaces in the country are referred to us. All right? And we, we provide them with a, a holistic care and support package which comprises of about 25 different um, services that we give the child, from taking their blood, uh, centrifuging the blood, lab tests, post and pre counseling, monitoring, uh, HIV, uh, ARV administration, ARV monitoring, everything we do with the child. So um, that is, the, that is the, the three programs that we have right now and we are very proud that so far they have been successful. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.